What else is it doing? Hallelujah! Are we happy? You know we are in Christmas. And in the month of Christmas, I like always having jewelry, good faces, that show some good shining and kindness. And so you just tell somebody, I love you. Just somebody, just tell somebody I love you. And that makes a difference. Yes, I love you. I love you. Yes. That's, a, that's very good. That's why we are here, because we are all love. We are all love. Uh, so, God bless you. Uh, we are, we are going to start. Praise the Lord. We are going to start. I know some people are eating. Continue eating those who are eating. And for those who are not eating, we can rise up and do some good praise. We are here to launch a church of Jesus Christ. And it should be launched to be the joy in places that you move the heavens and the earth, because that is why we are here, uh, because Jesus Christ is good, and we are here to support our brother uh, and our pastor as we begin an altar of God in this city, another one with full of grace and love. So uh, we will rise up, we have some praises, but before we do that, I want one of our fathers to come and pray for us. Uh, Reverend Hiko. We know we can only do everything and all things through Christ who created us. And we need his strength. We can be nobody, we can do nothing without him. We want to welcome you, Jesus, in this sanctuary. We welcome you, Father, for you know very well that the Lord, without you, we can do nothing. This is why we humble before you, God, as we begin this service, my Lord, of launching, my Father, this altar. We pray that God come and help us. We need your help. We hunger and thirst for your presence. Let my Father take the preeminence in this praise. Take cover and take control. Each and every item, each and every agenda, whatever we are going to speak in our mouth, in our praise, in our prayer, in our thanksgiving, in our offering, in the word, whatever shall be done today, let it be directed by the Father from you. Let the anointing of God, my Father, be upon us and everyone all that, that the God, as we come out of this sanctuary, we shall definitely say that our own and our Father was really with us. Thank you, Father, because you have had our prayers and you bring this breathing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So we will praise and then we will worship. We will not do that for a long time because we want the same time. We want to do things during the day. We have limited time even to stay in the Lord. So we will do it and we will worship the Lord. Hallelujah. What is from different churches. So today I will worship moja, I love to praise this building. You have to go and cut the to me and be one. Ah, to worship moja, I love to give my praises.
uh, sing a few songs, and I will like them to be ready. Mrs. Mwangi, Jenny, uh, Mother, Wasaimo, and St. Max. If each group takes only three minutes, we will be able to be there. So, this is Mwangi uh, and uh, Jane, Mother, uh, Jane, Mother, and uh, Wasaimo, then the Church of St. Mark's, they are all here and we want them to sing. This is the last. I better do it this way. So, uh, I want to welcome this one.
entertainment from you and we worship the Lord together. May God bless you very much. Uh, I want to take this opportunity 
to introduce the man of God and you can see the whole of New England is here. Men and women of God, the servants of God, all the pastors. Let me first of all tell you something. Before I even call them, when you see the servants of God, they speak blessings to the community. And they bring blessings to our homes and to wherever they are. Praise the Lord. Today is a very special day for these servants of God. They are here as a confirmation that there is a servant who needs an altar. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is why they are here. To make that confirmation and actually to bless this new altar that's going to bring people together in this city of Worcester and even in New England and everywhere as we preach the good news. Let me tell you, the days are all gone when the servant of God used to fight. Praise the Lord. You can see all of them. Praise the Lord. There is an indication that if you want to fight, you can fight, but servants are not fighting. They are going to not fight anymore. The days are old and gone. And gone. They are here to tell us we are here to make people of God who understand the roots of where they have come from and where they are going. Because we are one in the spirit, we are one in the ministry, we are one in Christ. In Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So I want to invite, I know we have many, many, many other servants of God are here. All the servants, I want them here because this is a day with a difference. Let us stand up. I know we cannot talk all of us because it is a little bit uh, negative, but I don't want not to let you say your name, your church, and bless us because that is why we are here. Let us stand up, all of us, and we clap for them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, in the midst of them, there is only one who will speak, who is the president of the uh, New England, you speak after all the others have spoken, has just given their names and their churches, and we are happy to fellowship together as the servants of God. So I'll start with here, and I can tell you how many bishops we have here. We, we have tons of them. We have four or five bishops with us. So this is a great blessing for us to be here. Let them just say a word. And then finally, Bishop Karayo is the president of us all. We will say a word at the end. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. My name is Pastor Douglas Tambuki, and at the name of the church that I pastor is Rivers of Joy in Lower Downtown. Congratulations, uh, Reverend Kimuhu and your wife. Thank you. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Amen. My name is Bishop Wachira, presiding Bishop Christ is the answer church, uh, Reverend Kimuhu, and your wife, congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Uh, Pastor Samuel Bugwa from Emmanuel House of Prayer. We have come to stand with the man of God, Reverend Kimuhu. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm Lucy Joseph with Pastor with him in the Bosonville Embassy, gonna say the rest. We are here to stand with the man of God. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Bishop Joshua Wongo around to have this mission international. Imekuja na Kewangu Pale, Dorcas Wongo, she's also a pastor in our branch in Worcester. Imekuja kusimama na Petria, mtumishi wa Mungu na mke wake. God bless. Amen. Bwana Sifiwe, Pastor James Ketau, kutoka Christian Foundation Fellowship Upper Law, 
Amen. Amen. Bwana asifiwe naitwa John Kimani Nyaga Yesu Kristo ni Bwana na Mwokozi na hudumu PCA Imani Church hapa Lowo na tungaji tu na tumekuja kusimama pamoja kwa ajili ya huduma katika jiji hili na state hii na US pamoja Amen Amen Pastor Jeremiah Nyonga Christ Jubilee International Ministries and we're here to stand with Pastor Kibuhu. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. My name is Reverend Joseph Diagona. I'm from St. Stephen Lane. And I'm here to support my brother, Reverend Kibuhu. But there's one thing I'd like to say to all of you. One minute. That God brought us here with a purpose. This is an act of missionary. And you and us here we are all missionaries yes. with God's what? purpose of bringing the world back to America and the West. Mm -hmm. So we are here, not by chance, but at a God's what? Plan. Thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm Charles Kalanja, the Fantas. Uh, I passed a church in Morden, Pepper Church, and I'm here to stand with uh, our Reverend, uh, Reverend Kimohu. And uh, also, as uh, our Reverend said, let's unite and be one. We pastors, we are so much united. So, let's, let's also unite. God bless you so much. Praise God. Amen. Uh, later, Pastor David Domo. I pastor with CCF in Nashua. New Hampshire. Uh, I'm here to support uh, Reverend Kemo and his wife. Blessings to you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ninalangu ni John Mwaniki, Ezra Prayer Ministry. Niko hapa kusupporti ndugu wetu Kemohu kuweneza iji. Praise the Lord. Inajambo moja tu ni keoba our community. Ninanajua ya koba sisi tuko hapa ni representative community yetu ya Kenya in, in this region kuna jambo moja kusugua wachungaji hao juko kuwasegenya wachungaji na kunena maneno ya wachungaji kama wale watu wengine na wanawaitaga men of the cloth is it kuna watu wakitaka kusegenya wachungaji wanasemanga they are the men of cloth these are not the men of the cloth. They are anointed servants of God. When you talk about them, be careful. Praise the Lord. To what you are happy, to what you are going to be able to get more, I will be the jiri in this region. What you will be able to get more, and what you will be able to get more. We are supporting this water for more. Praise the Lord. My name is Alexander Charles K. Kocheng. I went this time. He is the one who preached the gospel to us, me and my wife. And therefore we came to know this Jesus through him and his wife. Praise the Lord. I am um, I I worship at uh, Church of All Nations in North Reading. And uh, my wife is here. I was to be here with my daughter, Grace. If you can wave, and that's Grace, my wife, and Riziki also. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah, Church. Yeah. Pastor Lucy Painter of Glorious Power Church. And we always say that we are here to serve the purposes of God in our generation. And I believe that God's purposes will be accomplished here today and in the future in the ministry of our dad, Venerable Kimohu. God bless you. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can I, can I see your hand? Praise God. Amen. I'm Pastor Charles, music minister and worshiper in the house of the Lord. I fellowship with Ushindi Presbyterian Church under Leverett Joseph Kimatu with Pastor Naomi here. God bless you. Praise God out of you. Amen. 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 My name is Pastor Naomi Wamaneki from Beza Ministry, and uh, we have come to support Reverend Kimoho. There is no resignment in the ministry of God. There is no resignment in the ministry. When we preach the gospel, Hakuna Upumzika, Kasi Yendelem Shugadi. Amen. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Kutoka kanisa wa Christian Foundation Fellowship ni kwa hapa kushuhudia wema wa Bwana vile yeye utenda kwa hivyo Bwana wabariki. Amen. Bwana asifiwe kanisa la Yesu. Mimi naitwa Chugaji Paul Baina Kinodia na shiriki pamoja na mchungaji uh, wangu uh, Reverend Joseph and Mrs. Goshen uh, Faith Church International. Uh, nimekuja kujua uh, through Reverend Joseph and Mrs. Praise the Lord. Amen. For all of us who found time to come and support the man of God, Kimo and the wife, praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. My name is Adoka Swambua. I'm the wife to Bishop Joshua of Rapture Harvest. Currently, I'm pastoring a church in Worcester called Hope Restoration. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. My name is Josephine, Pastor Josephine Coco. I serve under Bishop Ashira at Christ's Answer Church. And I want to thank God at such a time like this, he has raised yet another altar. And let me tell you, friends, as you've heard, the pastors have said they are united. We need to stand and unite as a community because God is looking for true and genuine fellowship. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I honor you, all men of God. And I thank God to be born at a time like this, in this place. Because I know it's people like Kimohu and Kihiko and uh, Pastor Karaya and, and the Karimis and Washiras that have plowed the ground in Massachusetts. And many of you, all of you, I may not call you by names, you've plowed the grounds in Massachusetts. So when I stand in the altar and I preach, there's already a grace that has been raised by this man. So I honor you, men of God. I thank God for you, Pastor, uh, 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 Pastor Kimoho because you are a father in this city. We honor you. And I want to tell you, church, let's honor the men of God. Let's honor them because there is honor in that. There is honor with these fathers of faith. They are the gatekeepers in the city, praise the Lord. And we, when we honor them and they bless us, then we live long life. If you're a young minister, if you're in ministry like us who are coming into ministry, I want to tell you, in no matter how anointed you are, there's something about age and experience. Praise the Lord. So it doesn't matter how anointed we become when we, come, we, we enter the race of destiny. There is a grace in this man of God that has come with the ears. Praise the Lord. That does not or cannot, anointing cannot override. Praise the Lord. So let us honor this man of God. I believe in honor. Let's honor them. Let's bless them. Let's cover their nakedness. When you see a man of God nakedness, don't speak about it. Take the cover and cover it. Praise the Lord. May the Lord God bless you. Amen. Amen. Just for a few minutes, eh? Can I ask uh, Bishop Adam? Uh, try to reach our churches all over. I'm saying this to say, I see a man, today we are launching a church, but we are not launching a new pastor. This is a pastor who has been with us. He has done great. We know his ministry. And he has done a lot. I know there are people here, they have good hard families because of his ministry. There are people here, they know Christ because of his ministry. We are just coming to launch a sanctuary. But we know the man of God that God has brought. And as we see in the Isaiah 50, uh, 56, verse 7, 
where it talks about the house of prayer for all nations. This is, my prophecy is, may this be a house where all people of all nations will come under the leadership of Reverend Kimohu and God will take him far. My prayer is, just don't compromise. God who called you is faithful. Just go with the mentor, uh, the message that he gave you because he has put, we have had, we have even raised people who have done great, who are your children. I can also say, I have worked with you, labored in you, with you here in America, and I know God has the purpose for your calling. I just want to say, we ask the pastors, we are united, to support him to, to, for God to do greater things. Even I want to say, it is not that we have not reached all our Kenyans. We have not reached all the Americans. We are here to reach all nations. So, this is just a one of many that we are about to do. God bless you all. Amen. God bless you.
kimera ya kinya otoria elisha oigete riri kana kauga kura kurari wikinya tere ate mudenya umwe gakiuma garaga githie gwe ide kuria age agethimani koga gikira ide ate ri woi mutwe woi mutwe na kaidia gikira duga ta yake ate ri gakuwe ugatwarire nyina kereria ako ile gatwarira nyina ri agikara mabine make ginya ome araho na gigikua kemutu bia ucio agikia bata Aga kami orang lewa mudah sih orang gay. Aga kahiri kita kau deh ni. Aga shock, aga kuma, aga geta, mudah uriwe aga mula teri. Aku dah hidup ada hidup yang mudah buat wadu kata sih itu. Orang degree yang mudah gua hanya ke gini he mudah sih orang gay. Mula wajah ke. Nak kaya kita teri. Oh gua di hari we umur dini. Nanti karuga muka muri karena muda ni apa dah batu. Nak kaya aga kuma teri. Continue. Dua kali nak kira ujian macam ni, tu hau kira pakar gua hau demo ini. Orang sih dek kira kau hau itu. Beliau orang yang kau kira pada ni aje. Orang yang kau dia kau tu kau hari aki aku mira, orang sih kau mira hari. Jadi dia kau kira dia kau. Kau ni jom yang kiri yo, dia tidak kini jauh lagi tak kira lupa. Dia kini jauh lagi tak kira lupa, kau ni dia kau rasa betul. Aku dah beti ni, orang je ke rumah lagi dia ke. What am I trying to say? Here we have this woman, the Shunammite woman. We know the story of the Shunammite woman, the woman who was able to read the signs of the times. And when she read the signs of the times, she realized that every moment ne hari modu aga yu geraga ha ha. The modu she wa gai ne. Nare koro tu amu akira kanyo ba ona ya kuhuruka. Nare nia mamu akira kanyo bari. I want you to note that this woman read the signs of the times. She did not know that by doing so it will be a present to her and her family. Nere nia mtu mio yuko akira kanyo ba. Nere mwaki ni raha ndo mdo wa gayu wetu alisi ya kimura. Mtu mio dono tuweke na mau duma nene ona mega ni. O kwa dato we kire ya tia, we dato kire ya kwa dato mo doa mo mo tu tu kana ya eraisha kimoira, mo tu mio dani kana, eraisha kimoira, ihi dato nere mwa kaburoka niwa krona mo na, nani mo na wakai, mo na spesa. I want you to note this: the woman who was able to read the signs of the times, not because of her need, but because she knew. That there is something that you have to do and you can do for the servant of God, and the moment you do it, it come, comes back to you as a blessing. Amen. This woman read the signs of the times and realized that I need to build an altar for the man of God. And not only for the man of God, it is an altar for God. Nareu, orang mui ni mana kata nak buat nado malu kan orang ramu tu ni nak buat berita nado mahal, ha ha very funny, very funny tu nado, aku tu nado apa, okey lah. Ni pun kita ni ha nado, mana orang yang mana tu betul na, akhirnya, nado ni ni, enak tu, mugu dah ini, nado. Gudeh ugi dek, katualnya ini dek. Mana dia orang? 
the services of the men of God. Amen. So when we have men of God, otherwise you know, we can eat another two get another one more. You know, to the people of my country, don't get you know, with the Amen. And because he is still on the throne, and because that the throne is still on the throne, we cannot neglect our priest priestly roles. For goodness sake, we have some work to do. I know there's some people who may be wondering, what are popular to manage it? Are you going to go and do that? Are you going to 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 do that? So the priest can never neglect their priestly role. If we ever neglect, there will be some death somewhere. And maybe the death may be in our relationship with the same God. Once God we have to pursue the calling to the end. Amen. For we have the one who called us that will be answerable to him when that time comes. And so the work of the priest is to care of the, for the flock. I, have, I, I often like to differentiate the role of the prophet, like Elisha, the role of the, the priest. In the Old Testament, God used to communicate with his people through two avenues. The priest and the prophet. And they have different they had different roles. The prophet's work was to get the message of God to the people. Amen. So there were those two avenues and very elaborate communication network. So when you and the priest cannot stand in a gap for the sake of the children of God, and this we cannot neglect because we have been called for this very purpose. What has first happened? And I want, to, I want you to go back to this particular statement. The same altar bed that this woman set apart for the prophet of God, it is the same bed that, and the same avenue that God used for the resuscitation or the revival or the bringing back to life of her son. Do not neglect the altars of God. We need a people of God who can read the signs of the times. Now, to you if you neglect to build the out? Because there are people who are the world. They are the world. They are the world. They あの、これプレゾントを売ってるものどれ組み立てかおかないかな。ほぼ、ほぼ、ほぼ、ほぼ、ほぼ、ほぼ、ほぼ、ほぼ、ほぼ、ほぼ、ほぼ、ほぼ
We pray that this word stands hard into our souls as we make up our minds about the support of this altar. How each and every one shall be related to the altar. I pray that your power of the Holy Ghost will come down with a divine intervention in the hearts of men and women. Thank you, dear Lord, because you are faithful. Thank you for the powerful word that you have spoken to us, O Jehovah God. This altar is for us and for our children. This is for our revival. This is for our healing. This is for our comfort. Whenever we need you, Lord, we pray that, dear Father, that you come down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to bless us together in this altar. There is power, power, one power, King in the that we have been waiting for. We don't want people to get out. We have only two minutes remaining for us. And I want to invite Venerable Kemohu to welcome the servant of God and Mrs. Kemohu. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Say something before I say something. Thank you. She was in your other premier of the number one of the right community at the Usaja, the Katy, Naka, or Nera. Where are our guy? They knew what you are a man for you, Yana Hotel. Naked and the Toma Hita Maiki. They are one of Hina Kaiwa, Taiki, Taiki, Vikira. Where are our guy? What is the Katy? Nakovasa for coming at the Vegas, you are the Hawaii, Osio Nebu, Otomaka, Otawata, Madeo, and Puriwaya. Mari Moyo. Igreja 
nigeretha tugatwika aguikara wega twetereire wega ucio wa jehe wa ngai ucio nigeretha bururi ucio waria me waria the tugatwika aguikira kuna tukahotana nigeretie ni nyumba nyingi ni tondu ndaingi ni matwikite kirathi mukuriithwe ni maturathi mete na njira nene na makiria mothe njugi atiriri ni kwamba gucokia ngatho cia mwanya uri mabisho kwaitu uri atugatiri othe ni tondu mahinda maigiriria kwana korwa mundu ibite thaki korwe thi muno mana korona ciugo njega ciena musamo mwega wa cumbi tukaigwa twa bururu ko ringi ni wega wa ngai na tukaigwa twa giana hinya guthiruge ni undu ucio undu ucio ni utukenagia muno muno makiria njuge ngai arongia kumurathima na kumweka wega umutukatira hamwe na nyumba cianyu kedetio muno ni atumia tukatiri na kaenda gutwika ati undu uria mwakira waka ni tondu kai gutwika wa kumura tukumubisho ya kugiete ni tondu mahinda maingi ria twana kinya handu gakinya kaigwa ati no wage mundu ngicia nake ni kuri no akwana kia na ciate nyingi cia kurira ngai ero murathi ni tondu mahinda mara twage na ciate icio ni tukoragwa no horo thank you ni tukoragwa no horo wa kugia na hinya wa guthie rugendo kahinda ini gaka ri ni kahinda kangi ikwanda kuga ndiramenya cigo iri kihuthira tondu he cigo nda huthirire hara to rugamira rita ria muico ari amakiri kana ni no mamenye ngo ni ngo ndaugite ngiuga ndikenda kwaria muno tondu undu uria wa happen nda igwa tari hindi mutumia aheyo mwana wacoka wero uke rugame wariri andu ona ndura hota kugia na hinya wa kuruga ona ndura hota kumia kana ga ku bedroom ni gata gati ugwo ni ngo ndaugire ndikihota kumia mwana wa kwa bedroom to ni ndiretigira ndakaruto maitho ni mundu ugwo ni ndenda kumenyerera kana na go tigwe muthenya wa umuthi ni mono koro kana hihi ni gagicomokire ni gakigoire ri kana hihi ni kagire gukoro ringie dete ri tuge ona muthenya wa umuthi atumia kanike muri hamwe nani ni to ni hinda ringi ria guciara okuruine na rire ndari muni nani ni ndiracukora ni miaka ire ithiete guthira kugo ni kidira ciara okuru kugo ni kidirenda ni o atumia ake akorera kana gaka ni kitore ringi kana gaka tondu kana gaka ndiko ndari akarithie kurithia ndikanengereire anjire njokerio riri akarwarite kwogwa atumia ndiko na mucokerio kana karwara ndari ni kumenyerere kana gaka gako piyo ndigeta ona gakinya gakuthie kurithia ona gakinya gakumagara kuthie kurithe ndigacokerio kana gaka gekarwa kwogwa ni hoya nene kuri atumia othe ndiramenya mumeta pande ciothe na tondu mumira tondu ni mutu wendete gutiranga kania we uhoya kororete ruthiko ini kana uroragia mutu ini kana uroraga naku no rita ri ni ndoka na kana kangi tondu kai uri wahete karia kangi ni amenyira gatia honire na ruta ye dina ko atumia kana gaka twi hamwe muno munyitirira kana gaka ru matigacumoke na gatikarwale na gatikage no tukutuba konje ngiyokie na mutwire niguo uria mureka ni kwagireire tondu koro mutio nire gwikwega mutingi ukire na ru mugira tondu ni murona uko niguo kwagireire othe wikarire irigite guko wothe otumanite wothe wukire na soka athi inyuo othe ngai amurathime na mwike undu nongi amurehe maita ihana ni tondu ngai magana ndi ngai utuganaga ngai amurathime na mugi hota mumenye rucio ni ngamenya kuruga wega tondu ni gakona nyumba ne na nene tondu je hawo ria wakite gaka kanini ministri all the people who have come i may not mention you by your names but i can see so many friends of mine big bwana mboga you are here all the way from i don't know canton i don't know brockton and your dear wife is here may the lord bless you mundu wote okay tenu ndo igongo na rire 
It is my prayer that you can get over The other thing around me to say thank you to St. Stephen Church, which I have pastored for 16 years. They, if I have a name in this village, it is because of the services that I give at the St. Stephen Church. To the members, to the members of St. Stephen and the board, which is well represented here. I want to say a big thank you for being with you for all those years. Maybe what is remaining for us is to have a cup of tea together at our church there, and then we say bye because I have to go now. I have to go whether you like it or not, because my time to go has come. Thank you very much, especially the chairman of the Fathers' Union. I have been in their website, uh, no, in their WhatsApp group, until on Monday when I wrote a, a note to the priest, I told, him, I told him, do you know, now I have my church. I don't need to know your secrets. Can you tell you the chairman of the father to remove me from there? No, from that world. And I think it's, there's nothing inherently evil for you to do that. Because I am not a polygamous. I, I, I don't need to have two wives in America. I only need one. So thank you. Wanagatia, thank you very much. And even the Judea people, Rebecca, I told them Chugaji, please allow those people to remove my name there. I'm no longer in that fellowship. Because now I have to take care of the new baby that Mama has said. And thank you very much, Mama. I want to say, I want to say something. If my wife was not here today, everything else could be in a chaos. Because the ministry we are undertaking, it calls for her to be there. And when I found the house and we talked to the priest, I went to her, I told her, you know what? This is what I have found. And she said, thank you to God, because now we have a place to go and worship God. And with those, it gave me a lot of strength, because I knew Obira and Obira. We shall go now and serve the Lord. Mama, thank you very much. There is something that I told her when we were thinking about it today. Come on, Bia, before we blame anybody for what we have gone through for two years, it is better to do, to do what we call self-evaluation. Mama, you can remember what I told you. I start with myself. What did I do right to come to this position? And I, I analyzed my ministry at St. Stephen. I analyzed it and I told her, these are the things I did not do right. I did not tell her what people did wrong, but I said what I did wrong so that I can rectify that to get a daughter with So, I let every other person be okay, except someone. And then we move on, and then we move on. The other thing, before I had this mic to our brother, who is the master of ceremony and a good friend of mine, we have opened a church, and we expect to give what we call services to the people of Kenya. We are now determined to give you services. And the services that we are going to give you, they are very biblical. You may ask me, which, which liturgy are you going to use? Utatumia Rukagani, Utatumia Dibigani? Let me tell you, I am equipped. I am equipped. I know what I am doing. And I know where I am heading to. But the only thing I will not do is something which is not biblical. So we have three strengths that we have. Three strengths. The first is strength in our church, which is called Faith Anglican Church. We are going to preach the word. That means we are going to be very evangelical. We are going to preach the word and dilute it. Number two, we are going to observe the sacrament. That means we are going to be liturgical. I will still maintain my Torah and my vestment, and I will administer Holy Communion. I will baptize people. We are sacramental. That means we are liturgical, sacramental, whatever you can call them, we are there. And the last one, let me tell you, we are very charismatic. We are very, we, are, we, we need to embrace the Holy Spirit in our church. The worship, true worship in Jesus' name. So, if I have those three, if I have those three, 
Don't tell me you did not do this. Don't tell me that when you are in Kenya, you did not do the way you are doing. I'm not in Kenya. Don't tell me the way it should be done the other way now. We just want to make sure that we embrace God and be what God wants us to be. The troubles that we went through with my family, they were tools by which God was fashioning today. Our today was built on the problems that we went through. So the problems were not the problem. We could not be who you are today if we did not go through the problem. So I want to tell you, anybody who has been very sympathetic to me, uh, you, you change and you say those who are Borea, Bataraisa for our today. So the problem always is not the problem. Sometimes the problem is the Bataraisa for what you're going to do. The other thing for those who are saying, why didn't he retire and go home? Yeah? Why, did, why didn't he retire and go home? Why is he struggling with the church? Let me tell you something. For those who are thinking that way, they should know that there is no servant who is too old to serve. Amen. Neither too busy to serve. Or even never too late to make a difference. Amen. So we are ready to serve the God, God that we worship. I am not too old and I am not too busy. Yeah. Some people are also saying he has two jobs and those other group homes. Yes, I can have even three, but I am never too busy to serve the Lord. Yeah. So, today I want to finish. I, I, I would want to say this with, when I have uh, with Reverend Karemi because this is something that we share in common. And, uh, and, and I think uh, I'll just say it briefly, and I'm not going to detail. I'm talking about uh, the difference. The way we are different with the Wazungus. Eh? <laughs> Should I go on? The way we are different with Wazungus, especially the Wazungus in in the US, in matters to do with salvation. I'm telling you, it, the way we are very different is not comparable with the way we agree with them. The things that we differ spiritually, they are, they, are, they are more than the way, the things that we can come together and serve the Lord. I'm saying this because you know where the problem started. And now that we are not there, I want us to move on and understand our church from the Christian, from an African perspective, and then we move on. I was not able to say it very clearly, but you can connect the dots. You can connect the dots. You know where I'm coming from. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you before I sit down, you are most welcome to that church. My desire is what you could decide if you are opening another church. If you are opening a church, what could you decide? That is what I'm deciding. I'm deciding you to come and build the church. I'm deciding to see you visiting us. I'm deciding to see men of God coming to say hi to us. That is my desire. That would be your desire if you are opening a church. Thank you very much and may God bless you. Let us move together and I want to tell you the Kenyan I have two things to, to tell you about Reverend Kimo. First of all, he is the most honest man that I have seen in this city. He would say, I am wrong, and he would say, I am right. It's very hard to convince me I'm wrong. <laughs> Let me tell you, don't, don't even attempt it. It's very hard. But for him, it's so easy, it's so easy to do it. And that is the most credit. The other point is that he has Modona for a world of Modona. Modani Abosho has nothing hidden in his heart. He will fight you today and tomorrow you will be eating together with a lot of joy. Praise the Lord. In your homes, 
You know they are the most pure in heart. They will do everything right they want to do that in time. But tomorrow they still do everything else you want them to, to do. That is how he is. He's a man of God who has one of those qualities that many don't possess. Let me tell you, when I'm angry, I am bad. Never make me angry. I'm not good. Let me tell you, I'm not good if I'm angry. This man can be angry and happy at the same time. I don't know how, but it happens. Anyway, uh, finally, I want to say this to the people of this city. There are some people who wake up in the morning and ask, Oh, we understand that the Muzungu took away the license. License for who? The, I, I, I had such. Now, let me tell you about this man of God. We do not need a license for anyone to preach the word of God. Praise the Lord. Nobody. You can walk today in the streets and your license is your calling. Praise the Lord. And that's how we begin. Praise the Lord. The last year ni porodi ya watu wanataka. Lakini nikienda kwa karimi kwa kanisa yake ni lazima aliruhusu na ni lazima alipe license ya kuhudumia watu wa, wa kwake na hiyo akitaka kuwithdraw atafanya nini? Ata withdraw. Na sitaenda kwake tena. Aki withdraw hiyo maneno nina. Lakini ajaniambia I can walk to the streets and even outside the door and preach the, uh, the real gospel of Jesus Christ. I don't want you for Roger at the at the Mulisiki at the Muzungu at the Kua Rises here for Nakemo. Ionima, Doi, Doi, Yawale, Abao, Hawaii, Wana, Wanya, Katika Maisha Hai. Sisi to Nahubiri, Chiri, was a Babu to Mehito and a Christo, Natuta and the Air, Kubiri, Chiri, and Tauri Mwangu Pen and Nausi, and we are here to tell you one thing. That these servants of God are ready to serve you if you are ready to listen and even to be obedient to the word of God. But one thing I want to tell you, uh, brothers, and it was said one time by this man of God. Stand up. This man of God one day said, If you abuse the man of God, the man of God is good-hearted, will forgive you. But you remember, can you say the word you said? Who cannot? God will never forgive you. This man of God can forgive you, but God will still deal with you. That is how it means. Um, I want to have a moment whereby we are going to rouse the new church. And after we launch this church, we pray for our brother. All these hands of this anointed man of God, the anointing will flow all over. After that, I will ask each and everyone who is here to support the support of this altar. We know Reverend Kemogu, who is a father for 16 years, in this city. We know Reverend Kemo who have been in Ukwamura Naradamakaka and arrived here. He is there every morning, every day, telling us about how we should do with our families and how things should happen. A reason. He has a house, he has equipment, he has the energy to pay, he has everything. When we launch a new church, we want to bless this man of God so that he can be able to go for one month or two months without going back to us and telling us, I have a small house. 
that I am not able to pay or to do anything. For now, we will pray for him, the wife, and the children, if they are willing, are they here? If they are here, uh, to be there. But we believe that is the altar. Praise the Lord. And then tomorrow, we are hoping to see you there, to see everybody else there, wherever one comes from, God will bring into his altar his own people that he has appointed. Praise the Lord. If you want to support that altar by going there, don't be ashamed. And may God bless you. I want to call Leopard Kemohu, and this is the time we're going to pray for them. And I will ask Bishop Karaya, uh, who is going to pray for our brother, and all of us pastors, we will lay hands on him and the family. All of us. So you bring your seat here. Uh, you come with this seat. Uh, you push a little bit this back one. I do not need to have
you for the commitment of your servant. We have said, regardless of what, you remain faithful to serve you. And therefore, Lord, we are here to dedicate this day and to say as Jehovah God, as you did the very early church, when the church was praying, the Spirit of God spoke and said, separate for me, Paul and Barnabas. And therefore, Lord, I know you called your servant, Pastor Kimoru, and his family. And Lord, we know that you have never forsaken them. God, I know that today you are still have set them apart for this ministry, and especially for this new ministry. God of glory, I pray for the bold that you are going to bring forth. The people that you are going to give, the servant of God, they will have favor with him. They will be able to hear the voice. Just as the way the shepherd, when he speaks, when he voices, the flock hears the voice. And I know that God, you are going to bring people on the way. The people that are called for this ministry. The people are called to support the vision that your servant has. God, I know there are people you have already orchestrated from the, from the genesis, from the time that you did not know that they are called for this ministry. They are waiting for this ministry. We are calling them, oh God, from all corners of the world. That God of glory, this place, oh God, that you give your servant. And we may talk about the encouragement area, but I know this lady and this city, you have men of all races, of our nationality, yes. and God, you are going to bring them to this ministry. You are going to bring them to this ministry. And therefore, God, in the name of Jesus, I say that God, every problem will not be here in this church from glory in the name of Jesus.
back into your pocket. Write a check that you want to bless this ministry as it begins. Write a check. You can write it to Lebron Kimo, you can write it to Faith African Church, you can write it in or you can leave it on pen. But write a check and write a check that you bless the man of God for the next three, four months. He will have nothing to worry about what he's going to do with the church. And we say congratulations to our brother as he begins this new ministry. Ukiwa na check, andika, worship, continue singing with this song, and then write the check. Write a good check. Write a good check that will bless our brother. It's a ministry. We want to support him. It's a ministry. God bless you. What a
share the last blessings of prayer from Bishop and I am. Hello, hello, hello. And everybody now, I don't want people moving. I want people to be calm that we may receive our benediction and blessings together by Bishop. Uh, God bless you. Hallelujah. Don't move, don't move. We're just about to pray, so no movement. Let's honor prayers. Amen. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless your name because you are faithful God. You are God who starts a mission and you see it to the end. This evening, Lord, we have seen you start a theme. And I want to thank you because you are faithful. Even when men fail to be faithful, Jehovah, you start to be faithful. From generations to generations, you've been tried and tested, but the world has proved you to be faithful. We want to thank you because the work that you started this afternoon, this work will continue to eternity. Souls are going to be lifted up. Hearts that are discouraged will be encouraged. People who are about to commit suicide will be stopped. And further opposing spirit that oppose your people to progress will be stopped. Fires will be quenched. Dangers will be stopped. Accidents will be stopped. Because in this city, yet again, you have raised a watchtower. We want to bless your name for what you are doing in the life of Reverend Kemohu and his wife and the family. We know God you are faithful. Like you walk with Samuel of the Bible, you are going to walk with his family. Because the Bible says no word that Samuel spoke and you didn't back it. No word that Samuel spoke and fell on the ground. Every word that he spoke was vindicated and confirmed yes. by you. Yes, Lord, every word yes. that this servant will speak, yes. let your grace cover that word. Yes. That my father, none of the your word will fall on the ground. Yes. But it will lift your people, it will encourage your people, it will build your people, and it will heal your people, yes. and it will heal the land. Yes. We thank you. Because we are at a time as a community yes, where we need more servants that are faithful. Yes, where we need more servants that are committed to you. Yes, and Lord, I want to thank you because yet again, Lord, you are raising a tower yes, with a servant. Yes. Father, even as we leave this place, we want to bless your people who came to stand with the work we are doing. You have said, whosoever shall sow to you, my God, they will have it abundantly. A lot of people have sown tonight to the life of Reverend Kemu and his wife. Let these people live and have it abundantly. My God, you are God who started with your people in simplicity. And today might look like a day of humble beginning. But Lord, we shall see a bump of harvest ahead of us because of the seeds that your people sow today. Bless your people, oh God. And among us, the people who came, and the people who did not come, but they were wishing them well. And they prayed for them, and they sent support to them. All right, pray, remember such people. If they are struggling in their lives, Father, may you meet them at the area of trouble. If, Lord, their marriages are about to hit the Lord, may you heal those marriages for your glory. If they give that your children are lost, we are calling them home tonight because of the seed that they have sown in their, in their lives. In the name of Jesus, God, you are faithful. We sow in secret, but we harvest in the open. Let every person who has been sowing in the life of these people, even within those two years that these people talked about, there are people who have sown in their lives. They have sown words of encouragement. They have all sown words of building them. They have prayed for them. They have sown in various ways. May they, as these people rise up, may they rise up with them. May their families rise up with them. May your glory, Lord, 
He made man manifest upon me your life. Yes. We know this was a season. Yes. And that season is over. Yes, it was. You are God of season. Yes. And now there is a new season. Yes. A season of victory. Yes. A season of glorious deeds. Yes, a season they have never experienced. Yes, never Lord. in their lives. Father, as your servant, we speak this. As this season comes to their lives, walk with them, O oh God. Them. May you help them to be measured servants of God. Yes, Lord. A people who shall always bring glory mm -hmm. and honor to their lives. Yes. Father, even as your people go home, watch over them, O oh God. As they drive, O oh Father, mm -hmm. Lord, may you go with them. Yes. And Father, anything they desire from you, as your servant, Lord, chow, chow. I release it upon the your life. Name of Jesus. Every prayer they are trusting you for, yes, Lord. Lord, I pray that in the name of Jesus, the name of the Lord. Because they came to answer somebody's call, yes. also answer their prayer yes, in the name of Jesus. And now we bless your people in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. So, uh, listen to this one announcement. Announcement, please. There are two announcements. One, we have a lot of food here. Take that food, eat. It belongs to our stomach. Number two, next Sunday, we are meeting with all these pastors again to celebrate the Jamohori Day together. Uh, with our members, and Sunday afternoon we shall be in the well of worship. That is where we will be meeting. So watch and come next Sunday. God bless you all. Have a blessed evening and help uh, Reverend Kemo to clean up everything around here. And God will bless you.